So, this is Until Forever. Um, yeah, like I said, it just launched... Um, Here's to it's a race again. Launched right at the uh, in the middle of the Steam Summer Sale 2019 for some reason. But we can do car paint, so that's cool. Oh no, it's another one of these. Oh no, 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 no! It's one of these. I lock a single color for. Please tell me this is not by the same people who did uh the uh the the 20 minutes of crashing the walls I did last week. It is actually. <laughs> oh man, this is great. Okay, that's fair though. They just do little arcade style games. It's fine. I just thought I think it's funny that we hit the same dev in this in in two in uh, back to back weeks without even trying. Yeah, I just want to. Jump back to the data page for this. Oh, 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 recent. Okay, until forever, running now. All right, so, welcome. Um, also, I didn't see if roller worked or not. Okay, yes. I see the little highlight bar now. Oh, get yeah, the mouse off. I thought it worked. Aha! I went up and it happened. So let's go to the playground. Try to figure out the controls here. It also does not seem to be much music here. By much, I mean any. Okay, it's it's set as on, so Okay. Oh. Yeah, that burst is the boost. If nothing else on them. Like there's a lot they it's called the playground because it, you can kinda see in the middle there's a lot of stunty stuff. Can, uh... play around with it actually reminds me of that one stunty game we played not too long ago like I'm not having trouble like finding a break button Rift these or whatever. Yeah. Like, presumably, you want to stay on the course. Although, it is cool that they have the playground element, so you can just kind of dick around if you're not trying to complete laps. Very long course, too. So yeah, we're going to do this the careful way in the hopes that it doesn't penalize me too much for... Now I'm way off course. Yeah, there just doesn't seem to be any have been any... Uh, Practical consider. Oh, I see. The, the lower right or lower left is my rank, I guess. But yeah, like there doesn't seem to be much practical consideration with that boost option. What if the A is my? I guess it's a time-based rank, even though there's no timer. Video games, everyone. I think, like, maybe X is break? I haven't quite figured that out yet. Whatever.
Yes, okay. Through that, alright. But it's like, there's no e-brake that I can determine. Initiate drift or whatever. Oh wait, that might have been it there. B, e. okay. Never mind. Going by Xbox uh, controls, by the way. Where the heck was the course start? Because I see no indicator of a lap. Sorry about all the music free stuff tonight. I wasn't really anticipating that. We'll. Again, hopefully the other courses have some tunes going on here. Maybe V's doing nothing and I'm just imagining it. Hello. Like, I feel like we've definitely seen this angle before. But if nothing happens here sooner, maybe to the playground you can't complete laps because it's a playground. Can I just cut across here? Nobody got that over that. Alright, um... Not the back I wanted. I wanted to. Uh... By the night sun, who knows what's going on? Okay, so I'm getting rolling started in. Real de facto vaporwave hours. Okay, I didn't know you could drive through those trees. No, I know. I, okay, I'm glad there's tunes here, though. These are good tunes. Very pleasant. I don't know if that's supposed to be a comet or, like, it's just a weird seam in the sky, but... Oh, maybe Eleanor. I think that's switching between uh, maybe shifting methods. The A and the S. That could be it. Not entirely sure, but it, it, like this could chunks happen when I tap the L and R triggers. Automatic seems to be being a little more friendly to me, so let's just stick with that. I don't know how I would shift otherwise, but okay. I would kill for some sort of lap indicator. Found a wall. It's invisible, but it's there. I guess at some point we're just going to have to look for a, uh, a landmark. Definitely a little sloppy, game-wise. Much like my driving. I don't know what's with this blurry filter over everything. It's driving me... It's annoying me off quite a bit, because... 
Seems to be some at least some vaguely cool scenery in the background there. I will take some chill tunes. I might have turned down a little too quiet, whatever. I got worried when there wasn't much to hear. I'm also not sure what like those gray and white uh, indicators were at the stage base there. Again, oh, actually, we, there's that little instruction tag, right? Maybe we could hit that. That would probably be the smart thing to do. Haha! -ha. There was also a checkbox for timed mode. Maybe it's because we're doing this in timed mode. The botching things a little bit. I don't know. The orbs here. Is that the star finish line? Raise the orb. Right. Two orbs here. Now now the orbs are Trying to find the reverse, okay. Oh, okay, X changes the music track. Or Y, whatever, the top button. Triangle. Not sure what's up with the orbs then. sure what's up with much of anything, but okay. We have orb. I think I still tried hitting the music uh, swap in the playground and didn't do anything. If I'm wrong, I apologize for not having some sweet tunes. To chill out and wonder what the hell you're doing too. Is that is that an actual end yes we did it we did it we found a thing again I just don't think there is one in um okay instructions driving shift and right drift Okay, so maybe it just doesn't map entirely to a gamepad, and we'll just have to do it with keyboard. That's fine. A little annoying, but fine. Okay. Cool. Now we know. All right. Uh... Well, if nothing else, we can try the things. Okay, now that I figured out the boosties... And I'm drifting way too excessively. Alright, well now we don't have to take corners like we're afraid of them. This is he just smacks into the wall a bunch. like oh they got hotter cal <laughs> also the uh not accelerating during drifting is probably why i'm terrible at other drift games because i am always accelerating while drifting maybe we should find a better balance for that oh 
That's gonna be a wall. That could have been a lot worse, though. Thank you for not making me have a life bar. But this is still infinitely easier than Cyber Driver. Although, by game style, this feels like Cyber Driver would have been a more apt name. But whatever. Until Forever at least feels a little more poetic. The cool thing is, like, you can actually play this one-handed. If you just want to wave at the camera or something. Hello. Changing, like, audio tracks would be a little difficult, but... Look at us go now. Thought I hit the drift, I did not. Okay, the C is what changes the A and the S, which is what changes that drift strength. I'm curious what the difference is then. explain that. Kind of like the wet look the tracks got going here. I actually definitely like this little more S. So my delusions about a &S earlier were completely wrong, so if you listened to me at all last race, why would you do that? Oof. I will say this vehicle's acceleration is incredible compared to the abuse I'm handing, it, handing to it. Yeah, I think the last, like, lap completion achievement is for 21. So you're forced to play at least five times on each course, I guess, because there's not really a finish for playground. Good idea, though. Okay, I definitely like this a lot better than Cyber Driver. Feels like they've gotten the, the yeah the dev the dev or devs have gotten a bit more of a footing with what they were trying to do, where Cyber Driver was just like, set a procedural generator and hope for the best. I mean, a, little, a decent amount of visual work, but it's still just like, that was kind of frustrating. But this is another one, I, like, I think we're gonna check out all the courses tonight, but then I will probably just grind the achievements and be done with it. I got a budget title too, so. I also feel like the uh, whole semi-retro vaporwave, whatever aesthetic you want to call that they have going on here is kind of wasted in this long-ass tunnel, but whatever. I just work here. I'm not sure why they went with a camera flash sound for the boost, but it kind of works, honestly. So I nearly you know, camera flashed myself into the wall a few times. That's fine. I'm kind of curious what the max speed you can pick up is. That is it's a little annoying that every course is like five minutes plus long unless you're like riding the boost. I 
They say, don't hit the accelerator while you drift, and I'm just like, eh. You know what? Why would I do that? That is not the drift button. That is the zoom zoom button. For some reason, this reminds me of the data hive from the end of uh, Halo ODST. It's because I've been watching a lot of Accursed Studios lately, and pretty joke of one I watched recently about how he wants to talk about Halo, but without, or no, he wanted to, or he said something about Halo, but like, there's no reason to expect him to play all the way through Halo 11. Make sure that comparison was a dude. Well, whenever we finish this, I will probably kill my drink and then run over to grab another one so I'm not leaving a lot, a lot un unedited in the output. But yeah, we're still on beer one, so I should probably be getting that up a bit. Maybe I should be drinking for every failed drift, but then I'd probably be dead. Sorry for the bright, maybe should I put a bright flash warning in this too. There it is. Go, Death Roomba, go. All right, overpass. You know, I feel like we were under a lot of things, but okay. I guess 25 is the total laps completed. Okay, whatever. I don't know what really qualifies your rank, but okay. Number of stars, maybe? Alright, anyway, beverage, and then we will uh, move on to the last two courses. If Sky Road is not, is not like Rainbow Road, I'm going to be sad. Also, Overpass looks so much cooler in the preview shot. It's that filter that drives me nuts. I'm grabbing a free will mango wheat. I'm pretty sure I've had like every mango beer that I've seen at the store on draft lately. Then the mango crush I did. One or two others. I also just realized. My little scheduling screw up today at work means I can't do the chores I want to do on Friday. I mean, unless I want to wake up early, like a real human, and I definitely made the coffee a little too high test again. I gotta find the perfect ratio. I don't use my coffee maker often enough to remember what a good amount of grounds is, and then even when I'm told what a good amount of grounds is, I'm usually like, eh, nah, I can use a little more. That's fine. Oh, this dropped. That's why. Turn. That's better. Just let it sit on my belly. All right, so we're going to Night City. Also, we never did find out what the uh, the orbs in the palm tree level we're all about. I'm hitting the switch uh, strength rather than... I mean, I don't know if they were going for a wet road look here, but it kind of works. 
I will say the background here is very distracting from the your your uh well I am glad there is that like line of dots. It's nice that like pretty much all the courses have indicators of where you're supposed to be going, even if you're very bad at it. Like me. Alright, I took that a little too tight. I'm sorry. It seems to look a little better in capture. It could also be because this monitor is technically a TV and my settings probably are not optimized. I feel like I might have to tab out and drop the volume on the audio a little more too. Because I know I've been running about parallel with it on the bars there, so. If I've been hard to hear, I apologize. Honestly, I feel like the teams are more important because there's only so much you can say about piles of courses. Oh, I got some other fun stuff this week too. I got my, uh,. Hot Blooded Challenger Club shirts. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here real quick. Turn that down a little bit more. That should be good. I didn't realize the instructions tab was in the menu there. I'm an idiot. All right, well, okay, that, that should be a lot better. You know, we've already done three or five courses. Although, again, the one didn't really have music, so that's fine. But, um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I got my Red Hot Blood, yeah, I think, no, it's not Red Hot Blood, it's just Hot Blood of Challenger Club. Basically, you see me with some of these cool shirt designs. They look like weird kind of graffiti-esque, uh, amalgam pictures. Uh, and uh, they're made by Kyle Von Kubik, uh, the guy I podcasted with on We Talk Games. And, um... Uh, he basically got the idea since he took user suggestions for this one. Well, this one is all video game villains, but like now it's becoming a thing, quote unquote, with a capital T. Um, basically, he's got a Patreon set up for it. He's starting a new podcast with Keith, also from several podcasts, actually. Uh, but up to it, including We Talk Games. Um, I forget if he's guessed it on Crack Kraken Spawn. I know. He was on Sidecast, if you remember as far back as the Borderlands playthroughs we did here, uh, he was usually a regular on those. Um, and yeah, so what they're doing is basically each year is going to be a different shirt. And if you uh, get in for just $3 a month, you ba you're basically just buying the shirt via monthly payments on Patreon, which is kind of cool. But you get to vote in the polls for which characters they're using. Like, this first year it's going to be all Mega Man characters. So basically, like, for each game, they're putting a poll up, which robot master do you want to see? And, you know, once he gets through 11, you can have one robot master from each game, maybe a few other people, characters thrown in there. I've, I've voted for Tango, the cat, because why wouldn't I? But yeah, they just finished Mega Man 1. I think the voting's done on that. Uh, spoilers, there was a tie between Gutman and... Uh, Guts Man and Cut Man, but I don't know who won the tie. There was a tiebreaker vote initiated. I was hitting Drift and Boost at the same time, and just got a little hair there. Um, but yeah, it's cool. So, like, if you want to get a shirt every year, there were hats as well. It's got He's got, like, a special logo just for the, the quote-unquote club as well, which is cute. Like, I think there's still, I think there's a bonus at the, by the end of the month, if you sign up on Patreon, you, uh, get the, uh, the pin. I think it's just a pin back button, not a, I don't think it's like a full-fledged enamel pin, but I could be wrong. But there was a thing for, like, the first ten people to do the $7 tier, you'll also get a hat with the logo, which is sweet, but I'm not really, I, I don't consider myself a hat guy, but I might get one anyway. 
a weird graphic thing on the side there where like shadows are kind of falling off me which was a little terrifying but uh yeah so it's neat i will link it uh probably after this and again at the end of the stream and we have done three oh yeah so we each you fit each course you finish is a quote-unquote lap so oh have we unlocked okay Fifty laps to lock, unlock all the colors, but I'm not entirely sure why you would. Because there's no purple. I mean, I guess it's just to climb the leaderboard. That's probably where your number no, uh, no, enumeration on the board is listed. Okay, a yeah, sky road is rainbow road. It's kind of what I was hoping for. Get some rainbow road appropriate stuff. These are kind of reminding me I. I kind of want to see Stranger Things as well. Now, did they invisible wall it, or do I just plummet into oblivion if I fall off? That's my question. Now, we definitely did this too. This seems new. Very like... This is definitely... I don't know how I feel about like the slightly off to nature of it. That was almost very dangerous. Yeah, I, uh, some people whose opinions I vaguely respect, or less than I used to, um, I said, oh yes, it's a road where you go and you die. So you, okay, you have to not screw this up, so, I feel like we can do this. Well, this is a new jam too, okay. Forgive me if I take my time, but we, we, this is, we'll, this will be a road where we go. And I'll miss you again, Uncle. I guess the stars were just difficulty indicators. But yeah, they've said Stranger Things Season 3 is at least better than 2. Which I also haven't watched, so I've got a few series to watch. Series in the uh, UK sense of the word. might be a project for if I ever have a day off from work again and some uh, things that have me probably putting more shifts in in the near future or at least longer ones so that's out of that I guess whatever big money we can pick up Anki Overdrive and get the Mario Kart Hot Wheels sets the money will go towards things that are probably mostly for the stream but I need to start talking away because I probably need to get some work done on my van. I can see more of the course off in the distance there and I'm terrified. Yeah, we are not boosting unless absolutely necessary. Um, but yeah, there's some cool... Oh, that and I can finally, like, I think, yeah, the next big purchase for the stream... That's what I should have made the goal. Um, the donation goal. Is uh, I will I want I finally I've said this so many times I need an Android tablet so I can play all the Android games I have, and I can also dump most of the Android games I have onto there and like just cloud save or whatever. So I have like three or four racing games purchased on the Google Play Store, Ooh! but since I have no way of really outputting from my phone and my phone is getting so old that it's only so worth it, gotta step up and actually get one with HDMI out. And I wanted to go the cheap route, but uh, like all the cheap ones either don't have HDMI out or have terrible reviews or like outdated versions of uh, Android OS. So, and pardon my caution, but I do actually want to finish this course. Um, yeah, hopefully by the end of summer, we will have something. No! We were doing so well. Although that goes on forever. 
I think we've seen enough. I will just clear this for achievement's sake in my own time. But this is actually pretty neat. I was... Well, I was expecting more disappointment, but this is pretty solid, actually. And this is, like, a beautiful stock shot to use as your skybox, so credit where due. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to pound out some laps and finish that, because you need to finish that to get one of the achievements. But, yeah. Until Forever, probably the best game from makers of Cyber Driver, at least to date. I'm, there's a shooter and a first-person shooter that I have not tried, but... They look all right. Cool. Uh, here's to falling forever.